Okay, back to the term paper. Our country's government has three separate and distinct branches. One is the executive, which includes the president and governors of each state. Ooh. Oh man, I just need to catch up on some quick Z's. The second branch is the legislature with the House and Senate. The third branch is the judiciary, our court system. All states, including Ohio, have a two-court system, state and federal. Ohio's state courts are divided into three levels, trial courts, appeals courts, and the state Supreme Court. All Ohio judges are elected for six-year terms of office. Trial courts include mayors, municipal, county, and common pleas courts. If a community does not have a municipal court, then the mayor sometimes acts as a judge in what is called a mayor's court. Most of a mayor's duties as judge consist of hearing traffic offenses and other violations of municipal ordinances. Municipal and county courts can only hear certain types of civil and criminal cases. Civil cases are disputes that are settled with money and never involve jail time. Let's say you had a dispute with a neighbor about damage caused by a tree. Or your company had a dispute with another company over money or property. The case might be heard in a municipal or county court. Municipal and county courts can only hear the civil cases that fall within that court's territorial area, and only if the claim is not for more than $15,000. Criminal cases are brought by the government and carry the possibility of punishment, including a fine or jail time. A criminal offense may be a felony, a serious offense such as murder and robbery, or less serious crimes called misdemeanors, like simple assault with minimal harm, littering, and traffic offenses such as speeding. <laughs> Municipal and county courts are only allowed to hear these less serious misdemeanor criminal offenses. Game over. Procedures in municipal courts may vary a little across the state, but the story usually goes something like this. You've been charged with the offense of speeding in your vehicle. In fact, this complaint says you were going 15 miles over the speed limit. Do you understand the nature of those charges? Yes, Your Honor. Do you have any questions? Well, yeah. What rights do I have? Well, you have the right to retain an attorney, even if you plan to plead guilty. And you have the right to get your case continued, so you can have a reasonable amount of time to find an attorney. Yeah, Your Honor, I think I'm going to represent myself. Very well. Until you're asked for your statement, please don't say anything about the facts of your case or those statements may be used against you. Now, if you plead not guilty, that means that you're denying the charge of speeding and the prosecution will have to prove its case against you. If that's what you decide, we'll set a trial for a later date. Hmm. Not guilty or guilty. How about no contest? A no contest plea means you don't admit to being guilty, but you do admit the truth of the facts stated in the citation. So if you plead no contest, that admission cannot be used against you in the future. When your case is called, you'll need to show me your driver's license, and if you're found guilty, you will have to pay a fine plus court costs. Well, what if I change my mind? and decide to plead guilty. If you decide to plead guilty, yours is what's called a waiverable offense. And that means you can skip coming back to court, you can pay your fine without having to appear before me in court. Now understand though, that whatever plea you enter on your traffic offense, the court will have to report those results to the Ohio Bureau of Motor Vehicles. And under the point system, that may affect your driving privileges. I sure hope this is only a dream. Every county has a common police court. The Common Police Court hears the most serious civil or criminal cases and is the only court in the county that is allowed to hear felony cases. A felony is an offense that carries the possible punishment of a prison term or even the death penalty. Common Police Courts may have separate divisions for different kinds of cases, including domestic relations, probate, and juvenile cases. Many of life's everyday matters are handled in this court. Everything from adoption to marriage licenses, to divorce. The goal of every judicial system is to achieve complete and equal justice, but sometimes trial courts make mistakes, or someone may disagree about the outcome of a case. 
If this happens, people can appeal their case to a higher level court to review the case. These courts are called appeals courts. Ohio is divided into 12 appellate districts, and each district has three or more judges. Appeals courts here decide all appeals from decisions of Ohio's trial courts, except mayor's courts. Appeals courts can also hear certain cases that do not have to go through a trial court first, and this is called original jurisdiction. A panel of three judges hears each case in the Court of Appeals. These courts generally do not hold trials or hear evidence. Instead, they decide matters of law based on the trial court's record and written arguments, called briefs, that are prepared by the attorneys. After hearing arguments, the appeals court judges may either affirm or reverse what the trial court decided. They could even send the case back to the trial court for further proceedings. The Supreme Court of Ohio is the highest state court and has seven elected justices. One of them is called the Chief Justice. The Supreme Court can make some decisions about which cases it will take on appeal and which ones it will not hear. The court also decides state constitutional questions in cases involving questions of public or general interest. It also hears appeals from the Board of Tax Appeals and the Public Utilities Commission of Ohio, and all appeals involving criminal cases where a death penalty has been imposed. The federal court system is similar to Ohio's court system. It consists of trial courts, known as U.S. District Courts, appellate courts, known as Circuit Courts of Appeals, and the U.S. Supreme Court. Unlike Ohio, where judges are elected, federal judges are appointed for life by the president and confirmed by the U.S. Senate. Within the federal court system, Ohio is divided into two districts, northern and southern. Each district is further divided into an eastern and western division. These courts are limited to deciding only certain types of cases. U.S. district courts hear federal civil and criminal cases and disputes arising under state law that involve citizens of more than one state, where that dispute involves more than $75,000 in monetary damages. Like Ohio, the federal court system has appellate courts, and they're divided into 12 circuits around the country, each with regional jurisdiction. Ohio is in the Sixth Circuit, along with Michigan, Kentucky, and Tennessee, and the Sixth Circuit is headquartered in Cincinnati. The federal appeals courts hear appeals from the U.S. district courts, as well as certain specialty courts and federal agencies. The highest court in the nation is the United States Supreme Court. It has nine justices, one of whom is the Chief Justice. The Supreme Court hears appeals from the U.S. Court of Appeals. It also determines whether or not federal or state laws violate the U.S. Constitution. The judicial branch of government, an important part of our democracy, providing an essential balance for Ohio and the nation. Whoa. I need to cut back on the chili cheese fries so late at night. What's this?